may adlaw na tong tanan. In today's video, we are going to do exercises that will improve your movements, especially if you have Parkinson's disease. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist. My goal is to help you be more consistent with your exercises and therapy at home. When you have Parkinson's disease, your movements are usually smaller than normal. So, in this video, we will be using sports movements which are usually exaggerated and with time and practice, you'll have smoother and well calibrated movements that you can use during your self-care activities. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, are you ready? Let's go! The first exercise is baseball. So, the movement that we want to do is the batting part of baseball. Batting, okay? So, what you want to do is to put your hands together, alright? You bring it over your shoulder and towards the bat and then swing forward like that okay back to the front so exaggerate that movement all the way to the back and front all right so let's do uh 10 10 repetitions 10 counts all right one back front two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we do the other side too, okay? So, still hands together, bring it to your shoulder, over your shoulder, towards the back, and swing forward like that, okay? And one back to the front two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that's baseball next one is football so we are going to pretend like we are quarterbacks, right? So here and then throw, right? So again, just one hand this time. So bring your hand to the back and throw. Here, back, throw, okay? So you're a quarterback, right? So here, throw. 10 reps again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do the other side. So, here to the back, towards the front, okay? And try to also do your rotation. All right? So again, that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's football. The third exercise is basketball. So now we're going to pretend that we are going to shoot a ball at the free throw line, all right? So it's like there, okay? Let me back up and pretend like you're holding a ball. Bend, shoot, all right? Bend, shoot. Your wrist is also going to flick. This is really good in order to improve our movements for our hands when you have those shakiness, okay? So, shoot. Bend from the knees and hips, shoot, all right? 10 counts again. 
we're going to just do one side this time all right one two flick your hand three four five six seven eight nine ten did you make any shots i hope so that's basketball okay the next exercise is volleyball so we want to bend from the hips and the knees hands together like that bend from the hips and the knees and when we go up our hands and arms go up as well all right just at the shoulder level all right so again bend from the hips and knees hands down when we stand up straight our arms go up to shoulder level okay so let's go 10 reps again all right so hips and knees up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's volleyball next we're going to do boxing which involves punching all right so first we're going to do one side and then the other side and then alternate okay so first we're going to start with the right okay the left hand is going to cover your face or just stay there okay close to your face all right and this way all right exaggerate the movement straighten your arm fully bend it again straighten your arm fully bend it okay so let's get started one two bend fully extend three four five six seven eight nine ten all right other side so the left side this time so extend bend fully extend and then bend all right so 10 reps again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we're going to do alternate alternate all right don't forget fully bend fully extend fully bend fully extend all right so 10 total of 10 each side okay let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's boxing next we're going to do soccer so we're going to bring our foot back and then kick all the way to the back as far as you can go and then kick to the front okay so let's do 10 each side ready let's go one all the way to the back kick two three exaggerate your movements four five six seven eight nine ten all right let's do the other side okay so again leg to the back all the way to the back and kick okay 10 reps again and one two exaggerate your movements three four five six seven eight nine ten and that is soccer all right so the last one is karate or the martial arts kicking to the side okay so try to maintain your balance all right and if you don't have balance just bring a chair in front of you hold on to that chair and then kick to the side like that all right so 10 each side okay so maintain your balance exaggerate your kick not just this exaggerate it okay as far as you can go or as high as you can go let's do 10 each side ready let's go one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other side. Bring your chair to the other side so you can have support if you don't have balance, all right? Safety first. All right, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's karate. So that is it. Hopefully I was able to help you, especially for patients who have Parkinson's and who don't have any access to therapy anymore. And, or if you are bored with uh, other exercises that was given to you, this will be an alternative, okay? And so if you have not yet subscribed, just click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I won't be offended if you give it a thumbs down if you don't like it but give me some constructive criticism at the bottom, all right? Let's keep exercising our mind and our body, and let's get better together. Till next time, bye.